Noah now, so that's exciting. I am, Are you yeah. just in heaven smelling baby? And I mean, he, he's about to turn one, so I'm like slowly, I know. There he is. Jeez. Um, <laughs> little Gus. Yeah, he's almost one, so I'm kind of like migrating out of babydom into toddlerdom. And yeah. It's wild. It's, it's just going to get more wild, <laughs> says the woman with a five and seven year old. Um, no, but you named him Gus, but it's August, right? It's August. So yes. was there some, something about the month of August? Is that why you? August is when we found out that we were having a boy. Oh. And um, yeah, it's also the month that my husband was born. So we just, and we love the name Gus. Yeah. Yeah, because my husband's last name is Goldsmith. And I like being an alliterative name, Mandy Moore. Yeah. And we wanted to have a GG. Yeah, so Kelly Clinton, that, River yeah, Rose. Right? Yeah, my kids are like that. I like alliteration, it's, it's yeah. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. So it's he's... great for monogramming. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's also nice for that. <laughs> um, no, but what's the hardest part, you think, that you didn't see coming, like being a mama? Oh, there's probably a lot. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't even know where to begin. All of it, it's, no. it is the, every cliche in the book, right? For those parents out there, like life went from sepia to technicolor like that. I mean, yeah. it's just the most overwhelming, yeah. all-consuming love. And it's funny, because I've been playing a mom on a television show for six years, and I'm like, wait, can we go back to the beginning now? Because yeah. I know what it's like to be a mom. I've been I, faking it. Yeah. I am so method right now. <laughs> totally. I'm like, in it. Um, was that hard, though, to to play a mom, like not being a mom? Because I did hear Milo outed you a bit whenever he was here, because he said, I had to teach her how to do her first diaper, oh, yeah. like change the and you didn't know what to do, because didn't you didn't have a kid. I, yeah, and I yeah. just, my husband and I, neither of us really had any experience with babies. With Me neither, before specific. I had one. So I just remember having to lean on Milo so hard, especially in the beginning of the show. Which Milo doesn't have children. He doesn't have children either, but he has what? nieces and nephews. I have nieces and nephews, and I still had never changed a diaper before my <laughs> Children. Milo's just missing. That's your baby's butt. Yeah. <laughs> Take care of your own. I was like, I didn't make anybody do he mine. He was showing me how to swaddle, how to change diapers. He's so good at that. He okay. was incredible. And even, this was like the first season. And then I remember right before I gave birth to Gus last year, same thing. It was like we were shooting a scene where we had to like change. And I'm like, I'm about to do this in real life. And I have no idea what I'm doing. Your character on this show has three kids. So yeah. you were also one of three, right? Yes. I was too. Oh. Were you middle? I'm middle. I'm last born. Oh. Yeah. But you were the only girl. I, w yes. So that's different. Are you? No, two girls. Oh, but we yeah. were like seven years apart, seven and a half years apart. Oh, so okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but that, is that hard growing up with two boys? No, I mean, I feel like I was super, I had two super protective brothers on either side. Kind oh of like God. the show in, in a weird way. It sort of like echoes the show. Bro, but my brother used to pin me down and do that spit thing and suck it back up. We had different <laughs> childhoods, Mandy. Oh, like, wait. So that's kind of cool though, yeah. how the show was. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, it's kind of like echoes of my childhood, but, um, but yeah, cool. I get to live it out as their mother and I'm the youngest one in the cast. It's all very strange. <laughs> So is, have you ever actually come home with the like older Rebecca stuff on and your baby be like, who are you? No, but he's come to visit me on set. He's oh. been hanging out with me since he was a month old on set. And it is slightly confusing, although I argue I have to give him some reason to go to therapy yeah. later. So, but You're yeah, there he, he kind of like, I think he hears my voice and he smells me. So he, he knows it's yeah. me, but like, you know, I have a wig on on top of that and all this like prosthetic makeup. Yeah, he was my little makeup artist that Look day. Look at his face. <laughs> You made such a beautiful baby. Yes, oh you. my gosh. He is confused, but you know, he's got to get used to it. It's my job. Yeah, lean in. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, now you're in the final season of This Is Us. So what's going on with your character, Rebecca? Oh, way to bring it down. Um, <laughs> my, so we're tying up, uh, you know, over a hundred episodes of this show and telling wow. the story of this family and my character. Uh, present day, obviously, I, I play this woman from 25 to 85, and present day, she's dealing with dementia, with Alzheimer's, so it's, it's quite heartbreaking, but I love that we're able to have this conversation and hopefully destigmatize de the conversation around Alzheimer's, and yeah. um, including the family and all of the, the decisions that like everyone as a unit collectively has to make together, yeah. um, but it's... I'm so excited that we get to sort of wrap up this story in, in a really beautiful way, and I think people are gonna be happy with us, the way we stick the landing, as it were. Yeah, is it, I have a question, because is it hard to snap out of that when you leave work? Because y'all do cover so many serious 
yeah. situations and scenarios within family dynamics. Is that hard is. to like compartmentalize yeah. when you go home? I think like for me, especially in this particular situation, like I grieve for my character. My character is very intentional. She's very stoic. She has so much grace the way she's sort of handling this diagnosis. And I, as Mandy, have to not let my feelings for her, my, my sadness, empathetic. my grief, like, yeah. kind of bleed into the performance. So it's like, I'll sometimes leave set and get back, you know, to my trailer in my car and just like, ugh, like, it's, a really, it's an emotional release. But yeah. also, like, there's so much levity in between takes. Everybody's so funny on the show. Like, we do find ways to sort of, like, crack jokes in between, because otherwise it would be a horrible work I'm environment. Like, everybody's, everybody's just, just like, sad. Exactly, just crying <laughs> all the time. So yeah, we have to find a way to like liven it up. Yeah, I, yeah. L I love your cast. God, we've had almost everybody on here. It's, it's we love the your most cast. remarkable group of people. I feel so it lucky cool. that I've been, like spent the last six years of my life with them. I love them so deeply. That's yeah, awesome. They're the best. Um, well, what has it meant to you um, that y'all have shown so much diversity on the show? Especially within a family, like I, one family. Yeah, like the family dynamics, but what a family can look like. I mean, I'm so grateful again that we've had the opportunity that people have been interested in the show from the very beginning yeah. and have kind of come along on this, this journey with us for the last six years. Like, I think it's the conversations we've been able to elicit are so important. Yeah, mm. it's been the greatest gift to be a part of something that's so cathartic and emotional and also reflective of, even though there's so much specificity in who these people are in these different stories, like people are still able to see themselves in it. And that's oh, yeah. such a gift. Yeah, that yeah. is a gift. Be yeah. a part of something that means yeah, something. That yeah, that means something to people, yeah. yeah. So everybody is sad that This Is Us is, is coming to an end. So are you feeling kind of bittersweet about it? Like it's a great cast, but are you excited about doing new things? I mean, you know, look, I'll be honest, for me, I mean, I don't really work with anybody but Mandy, because I'm you know, deceased in the present day. Oh, that's so, like, true, I that's never true. work with the kids. But and you they have see a whole, everyone, right? I, no, not oh, really. I see gosh, them when we do press. Weird. Oh. So the thing is, like, they'll be on set, like, it, wherever we are, and, like, they'll just kind of group together and inside joke, inside joke, and I'm lost, dead, dad. I have no idea what's going I'm on. I'm lost, dead, dad? <laughs> but, like, for, for me, for me, it's like, yes, it is, it is a little bittersweet to, like, yeah. leave the group, but for me, it's like, it's the crew. It's always yeah. the crew. I mean, you spend day after day with, yep. you know, the people that you're with all the time. You see them, you walk past them, yeah. you know their kids' names, you know everything about them. Yeah. And then it's just kind of done. Yeah, you know, it, is, move on. it is true though. Like I, I still see the crew from like 20 years ago when yeah. I won American Idol. I still know the crew and I run into them at like awards and stuff. It's yeah. so crazy because we've yeah. all grown up together for like 20 years. And those are the people that you see and you'll still see on different productions. Yep, absolutely. So, yeah, that yeah. is that is true. Um, well, someone told me that you have a set photographer who's very passionate about getting the best angle, which first of all, God bless you, sir. Angles are important. Yes, they um, are. But I want to see that because let's see some photographer, Ron. I feel like he took, y'all, he took pictures so, of yeah. So this is and now y'all started taking pictures. So this of him. is Ron Batstorf. How it all started was there was a scene where I'm standing <laughs> in front of one of my children's desks and I'm looking at something on the desk, and I have James over here with his camera and I have Coy over here with his camera, and the only place for Ron to get a decent photo was to wedge himself behind the desk and shoot up at me. And I'm like, Ron, you realize you're in my eyeline. I'm looking right at this this book, this frame. And he's like, well, I need to get the shot. Oh my! And God. I was like. Okay, man. So then I took some photos of him and it became a joke. A joke and a gag where whenever Ron would be in just a funny position, I would take yeah. a photo. Then I started an Instagram account. <laughs> then the entire crew started contributing to it. Yeah. So I mean, I would take photos, but then, you know, somebody else would take a photo just and, and they would send them to me. Be like, yeah. oh my God, you should have seen where Ron was today. He's on the kitchen counter. Oh my God, you should have seen where Ron was the other day. Like he's outside under a ladder, under yeah. That's you're Koi, just, that's Ron. Yeah. You're pointing. <laughs> well, that's the, and that's the thing. Like, he always, like, dresses in black to blend in with yeah. a dark set, a dark stage, unless yeah. we're filming at a pharmacy, then he's wearing all white because a pharmacy. Oh, oh God. I mean, this, so this one right here, <laughs> Logan Scheuer, it's a big scene, uh, I think season three, where, where Kevin breaks his knee and his yeah. football days are over. And I've got this massive speech where I'm talking to Kevin, telling him, like, he's going to find his true calling. And I see Ron just creeping out from behind the... the <laughs> Why you're trying to be like... And I'm so like, Ron, I'm like, you got to leave, man. You, you are gotta, killing my vibe. You really are. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's another thing. I'm never doing that. I'm usually just like singing. But I oh, what? yeah. What? That's creepy. So, so that was Reflections. So again, you know, Ron would dress in dark clothes because he never wants to reflect or something in a, in a surface. Oh, my God. So this was... He couldn't reflect in wherever we were. So he just shrouded himself entirely... 
I got so many photos that day. That one was, I think, taken by Cricky, our sound, soundboard operator. Everybody, though, that day sent me a photo of, of Ron in a black cape, just. If Ron were really funny, he would have had someone else just sit there and then just walk up with another camera. <laughs> like, like, who's the guy under the chair? I mean, I have photos <laughs> like... of just his camera sitting on tables, like on the Instagram account, too, where it's just like, Ron, where, like, literally, like, where are you? It's on auto. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I was yeah. busy. Oh, there we go, and here's your gentleman. <laughs> yeah, there's Weiss, get it, Weiss, yes. Weiss has actually been, that's what I'm saying, Weiss has been around me for, God, I don't know, 15 years, I don't know how many years we've been working together, but on tour, I don't even notice Weiss is there. Like, yeah. there have been times, <laughs> <laughs> things have happened, <laughs> I have no idea why this is there, and I'm like, well. So let's talk This Is Us, like, how are you feeling? Is it bittersweet? Because this is such a brilliant cast, the chemistry is done so well, it's yeah. such a popular show, and it's just such a great message, too, the family vibe from the show, it's just yeah. been so great overall, so is it kind of bittersweet for you? You're excited to do other things, but you're also, like, kind of sad? That's exactly what it is. Um, yeah. I love the show. Yeah. It's been one of the best six-year ride of my life. Yeah. Like, professionally, it's been absolutely amazing. Beautiful people. I'm looking at my Black Pearson family over here. Yeah. And I've gotten a chance to see these three little girls grow up over time. Like, every time I'm on stage with them, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to miss them. And I see yeah. their parents who are backstage with them. And I was like, I, I love your daughters. And you've watched them grow up. And I've literally watched yeah. them grow up. So once we start to get to, like, the last two or three episodes, there'll be something that happens that I won't be able to stop from happening. Oh, no. Because I know I'm actually saying goodbye. Yeah. Right now, I'm like, oh, we're having a great time and just blah, blah, blah. When it gets to the end, oh, no. there'll be no acting. It'll be ugly crying. It'll, it'll be ugly. Okay. Hideous. Um, yeah, hideous? Yeah. It's great, though. Yeah. So it's crazy. This is the, the, the final season. It's this is it. so nuts. Are you super emotional about it? Because not many shows are lucky enough to get this kind of... I mean, it's such a huge, epic, like, pop culture moment, this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. to be a part of something like that is massive. So is it kind of so sad? Like, you're literally getting me two days after we just wrapped. So it's oh, like... Oh, no. <laughs> I'm like, okay. That's hard. Okay. You're like, no, are you okay? It's all right. Okay, I'm okay. Do you need a hug? <laughs> I think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that's so weird, because yeah. you've seen these people every day for years. Yeah, for yeah. six years. And it really is like a ripping away of, like, people who have become... Your family, you know, in yeah. so many ways. And so it was very surreal, but like the one thing I told myself that I'm gonna do is every day for like the past last month of it, I was like, just be present and just take it in. Because yeah. then at least I can say, I remember, I was there. I, was, I didn't like leave my body and like try to push it out of my mind. It's not happening, whatever. It was like, you know, it's happening. Let it be the long goodbye mm -hmm. and just like experience it. And I thought maybe then I wouldn't cry. And Did they not work. <laughs> I was like, and then you cried. Yeah, and then I cried. <laughs> um, well, I saw this video. Um, it's the whole cast, and it went viral, so I want to show everybody this. So so what was going on here? This was impromptu. Look at Sterling. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was like us on a break. So we had like all this time. Uh, we, this was like an 18-hour day. <laughs> and um, we were there from like 6 o'clock. Look at the booties. Um, <laughs> Look at the booties. We were there from like, uh, I think I got there at 8 o'clock in the morning. I remember leaving just after midnight. But like we were all there and we were shooting the um, uh, Kate Seconds wedding to Phil. And um, a, a wonderful person who runs our social, uh, Sarah Werheim, came and she always has ideas for us to do. And yeah. she was coming to Sterling with something. And I think between her and Sterling, they came up with this idea. And he was asking me about music choices. And I was like, oh, you should do something that people would play at a barbecue, everybody can dance. Yeah. And he came up with the wobble, and then he taught everybody. Yeah. And, um, you know, I was... Except for Mr. Hartley. He's just chilling on no, the couch. No, Mr. Hartley. Well, see, he knows his position. He knows, like... He know... <laughs> he's, he's like, like, I know my lane. I'm going to be he, here. He's like, I know, does guys... he not dance? Is this what it is? No, ma'am. He just No, ma'am. <laughs> And listen, does he not do it well? Did he not do he that well? He did it well. I so, love that he's just on the phone. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, I know He's what making I'm deals. He is. Dancing. Yeah. I, love it. I was like, so, that just means he don't dance. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we do on our break. I that love was like that. a break. And, um, and we were, you know, uh, it's a way to like just kind of get through the day. <laughs> co-writing one of the episodes for This Is Us yes. season. That's exciting. Yeah, it was honestly like, I mean, thank you. You're a writer, like a songwriter, so yeah. it's kind of like it's the same similar, thing. Right? Yeah. It's similar, right? Yeah. Without sort of, I mean, there's it's a melody story. to, yeah, it's yeah. story. There's 
a melody of sorts. It's not necessarily Are you music. Nervous? Well, we nervous? we just finished it. Oh, okay. And I got the network network draft, and I was like, wait, some of the things that I wrote are in the draft. Oh. <gasps> Like, I yeah. didn't think it was gonna happen because there's so many rewrites. There's so mm. many different influences and voices. And of course, the whole writer's room who have been writing for millions of years. And yeah. they're like, oh, you're an actor, you wanna write? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. please let me try. Yeah. And so a lot of my, my jokes landed and stuck. And so I'm really excited. And it's the Kate-centric episode. Yeah. So it's out of the trilogy. Um, kind of made sense. Yeah, it, that kind, you were, it kind yeah. of made sense. Yeah. You're very smart. I know, I lean um, in. Yeah. yeah, and so I'm really excited about it. It's That's something so I always cool. wanted to do. So. Are you interested in any other, like, behind the scenes stuff? Would you ever want to like direct or produce or do anything like that? You know, produce, yes. Direct yeah. eventually. I feel like I really want to know like everything before I'm like, let me be the boss yeah. of everybody um, in a nice way. But yeah, um, yeah eventually. I'm, I'm so different. I'm like, I never want to do anything else. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm not just one thing. Well, when you're really good at yeah. it, you don't really have no, to. No, no, you're really good at what you do. I just mean like, it just seems like a lot. Those people, it it's, it's, to wear all those hats seems yeah. like a lot. It it's a lot. lot of pressure. And yeah. I'm like really like bare minimum. Like, yeah. <laughs> like uh, I don't know if you're bare minimum. Yeah. I'm bare minimum level. <laughs> I mean, your is schedule? There, is like, there, what? Oh my God, especially towards the end of the year. It's so great. Yeah, um, cheers. Um, <laughs> so the wine's over here. Um, no, but can you tell us anything about the final season? Everybody, this show yeah. is such a huge show. People are just, yeah. they're probably very sad that yeah, it's ended. I'm very sad. I know. We're all Isn't very that sad. weird that you've been around people for that long and then all of a sudden you're not going to see them every day? Uh -huh. I don't mean to make you cry yeah. about it or you, anything. You know I'm an emotional girl. I am too. I was like, she's really trying to weld these up. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, no, it's... Honestly, every day everyone's like, Chrissy, you okay? I'm like, don't yeah. ask me if I'm okay. Are we all okay? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's emotional. It's sad, though. And you spend six years of your life with people who've changed your life yeah. and stories that have changed other people's lives. So, yeah, I'm emotional. Mm -hmm. But also, this this season is going to be incredible. And, you know, I don't know if anybody has seen the finale of season five. Yes. Um, okay, some people have. And if you yeah. haven't, close your ears. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Yeah. We will get to see how Toby and Kate sort of unravel. Okay. Um, and then of course we're following um, Rebecca's storyline and her Alzheimer's and yeah. um, it's going to be very emotional and, and very wonderful and beautiful and you know. Seems nice to have wine with is all I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, that's yeah. right. How are you? I'm doing great. It's How nice are you to doing? Meet you. Great to meet you. Yeah, we're very excited to have you. So you've had a great run on This Is Us. It's such a great show. So many people. It's impacted um, just pop culture in, in such a big way. Um, but this show is coming to an end this year. So that's that's kind of a big thing, especially for a cast that you've kind of grown with over the years. Um, I don't know. You, I heard you almost didn't even audition. Yeah, I had like four auditions that week and I had a dentist appointment <laughs> that conflicted with the audition. Oh my gosh. And I had school and my mom like really, really wanted me to go to this dentist appointment. So we were trying to move the audition and then I was like, no, I just, I just got to go and do this. And, and then like the next day I booked it, the next morning I was on the show and wow. it just like rolled from there. It was like pretty insane. Yeah. It's always crazy like that. It always happens yeah. crazy like that. I feel yeah. like when people tell me about their big first things. No, 100%. Um, well, what can we expect from the final season? I can't really tell you anything. Get out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just no. kidding. I know. No spoiler yeah, yeah. alerts. We don't want you to spoil uh, it. But, like, let's just say it wraps up in a very, I mean, it, it wraps up in a very, like, specific way and just, oh. I'm going to need tissues. Oh, like it's, I love crying. It's going to be, yeah, be, yeah. be prepared. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I love a good cry.